Hello and namaste to everyone. I hope you all are doing well. So today I am going to discuss a 5x5 Ken Ken puzzle with all of you. Till now we have discussed the addition and subtraction Ken Ken puzzle. Today I am going to share a multiplication and division sort of Ken Ken puzzle with all of you. So let's see how are we going to start solving this puzzle. We know the basic rules of Ken Ken puzzle. This is a 5x5 grid. So we have to fill the numbers between 1 to 5 in each row and in each column such that no number repeats itself while the second rule is going to be regarding these small grids. For example, this is our first small grid. Now the numbers, the two numbers which are going to come here should give their division as 2. If you look at the second grid, it consists of 4 blocks. So when all these 4 numbers are multiplied together then they should give their result as 60. If you are going to look at this block then the two numbers between 1 to 5 when multiplied together should give their result as 15. So the respective same pattern is followed in whole Ken Ken puzzle. Now let's see from where we are going to start solving our Ken Ken puzzle. See in this grid it is written 2 divide. Here it is written 60 plus here it is written 10, sorry, 60 multiplied, 60 into, here it is written 10 into, here it is written 15 into, here it is written 1. So you can see this is a very small grid of 1 by 1 block and the only number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 1. Why? Because no arithmetic operation is associated with 1. So the result which has to come in this block is going to be equal to 1. So let me write the number 1 here. So I have written the number 1 here. I'm going to erase this. Write it properly. So 1 has come here. Now see. If I look at the 5th column now. 1 has already come here in this block. So if 1 has already come here in this block. What are the possible 2 numbers. Which when divided will give their sum as 2 between 1 to 5. There were only two possible combination. One was 2 divided by 1 or other was this. Now 2 divided by 1 cannot come here. Why? Because 1 is already used. So if 1 is already used then this combination is not going to come here in this grid. So the numbers which can come in this grid are 4 and 2 only. So if 4 is going to come here. Then 2 is going to come in the next block and if 2 is going to come in this block then 4 is going to come in this block. Right? Okay. Now let's see. Now let's look at the third row. If I look at the third row you will clearly see one thing. See. Here also we have to find out two numbers. Right? Two numbers which when divided shall give their division as 2. So the possible combinations are going to be again 2, 1 and 4 and 2. So either 2 slash 1 can come here or 1 slash 2. What does this mean? This means that if 2 is going to come here then 1 is going to come here. If 1 is going to come here then 2 is going to come here or the other combination is going to be 4 slash 2 and 2 slash 4. That means if 4 is going to come here, then 2 is going to come here. Or if 2 is going to come here, then 4 is going to come here. Right? So you are going to see a very interesting thing here. And that is going to be the clue how you have to start solving this puzzle. In either case, if I take the case of 2 and 1, or 4 and 2. In either case, 2 is definitely going to come here. Right? 2 slash 1 or 1 slash 2. So in this case also, 2 is going to come here. 4 slash 2 and 2 slash 4. So in this case also, 2 is going to come here. So in both the cases, the number 2 has to be here in this block. Right? Has to be there in this grid. Right? So if 2 is going to be here in this grid that is 2 is going to be there in third row 
right? If two is going to be there in third row, then definitely the number two cannot come here, right? So if number two cannot come here, what is the number which is going to come here? The number which is going to come here is going to be equal to four. So let me write four here. The number which is going to come here is going to be equal to four and the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to Two. So this is a very important catch in these type of puzzles. So you should be, you should uh, start uh, seeing this sort of pattern while trying to solve this kind of puzzle. Okay, so you should look for this pattern. Now see, if you look at the fifth column, then the number one, four, and two are already used. So the only two numbers which are remaining here are three and five. So can I say if three is slash 5. So if 3 is going to come here, then 5 is going to come here. Or if 3 is, uh, or if 5 is going to come here, then 3 is going to come here. Right? Okay. So with this, we have find most of the numbers of fifth column. Now see, let's move on to our second row. Here we have to find out two numbers when multiplied together should give their result as 10. What are the possible two numbers between 1 to 5, which when multiplied together are going to give their result as 10? The only two possible numbers are 5 and 2, right? When 5 and 2 are going to be multiplied together, then only I'm going to get my result as 10. So, if 5 is going to come here, then 2 is going to come in this block. Or if 2 is going to come in this block, then 5 is going to come in this block. So, 5 slash 2 and 2 slash 5. Now, if you are going to look at this grid, I have to find out two numbers when multiplied together should give their multiplication as 15. What are the possible two numbers between 1 to 5? 5 and 3, right? But 5 is already there in this row. So if 5 is already there in this row, then 5 can definitely not come here. So if 5 cannot come here, what is the number which is going to come here? The number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 3. So the number below it is going to be equal to 5. Why? Because see, 5 slash 2 or 2 slash 5. So 5 is definitely going to come here in this grid. So 5 is going to be there in the second row. So if 5 is going to be there, then the possible number, then the only possible number which, is, which can come in this block is going to be equal to 3. So if 3 has come here, then 5 is going to come here. Now, if you are going to look at the uh, third row, again, the two numbers when multiplied together in this grid has to give their sum, uh, uh, has to give their multiplication as 15. Now 5 is already there in the third row. So if 5 is already there in the third row, then the number which can come here is going to be equal to 3. So the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 3. So the number below it, just below it, is going to be equal to 5. I hope this is clear to you. If 5 is already there in the third row, then two numbers multiplied together shall give their multiplication as 15. So if 5 is already used, then only the number which can come here is 3. So 3 has come here and 5 has come here. So if 5 has already come in the first column. See, 5 is already there in the first column. So definitely 5 cannot come here. So if 5 cannot come here, then what is the number which is going to come here? The number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 2, right? So let me write the number 2 here. Number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 2. So automatically the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 5. Now, if I am going to look at the second row, 2, 5, 3, 1 are already used. So the only remaining number, here it is 4. So let me write the number 4 here. So this is how we have obtained all our numbers for second row. Now see, if you are going to look here, see, this is 2 slash 1 or 1 slash 2 or 4 slash 2 or 2 slash 4. Why 4 slash 2 or 2 slash 4 can't be used? 
because four is already there in this row so if four is already there in this row then i can definitely say that this pattern is not going to be used here and only this two slash one or one slash two this is the only combination for these two blocks i'm still not sure which number is going to come where okay now see two three five are already used here and Okay, so now I'm going to move on to this block, right? Why I'm moving on to this block? Because see, I already know the number 4 here. So if I already know the number 4 here, then what I have to multiply by 4 to give the result as 60? I have to multiply 15 by 4. So, I can get my multiplication as 60. Now, 15 is possible only with two numbers. That is 3 and 5 or 5 and 3. So, 4 into 5 into 3 is going to be equal to 60. Now, see. If 3 slash 5, right? In this block, either 3 is going to come here or either 5 is going to come here. Now, See, okay, I missed one step here. So, 4 into 5 into 3 is going to be equal to 60, right? So, 4 numbers are which are possible are 4 into 5 into 3 into 1, right? So, these 4 numbers have to come in this block, right? So, these 4 numbers have to come in this block. Now, 4 is already there. In this block, either 3 is going to come or 5 is going to come. In this block... I can clearly see the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 1. Why 1 is going to come here? Because see, in this row, uh, in this column, that is in fourth column, 3 and 5 are already used. So if 3 and 5 are already used, then 3 and 5 cannot come here. So if 3 and 5 cannot come here, I'm sorry. So if 3 and 5 cannot come here, right, then what is the only number which can come here? The only number which can come here is 1 because 4 is already here. 3 and 5 are already used. So, 3 and 5 cannot come here. Then only number which can come here is going to be equal to 1. Now, if 1 has come here and this is 3 slash 5. So, if 3 is going to come here, then 5 is going to come here in this block. Or if 5 is going to come here, then 3 is going to come here in this block, right? Okay, now see 5, 3, 1 are already used in the first row, right? 5, 3, 1 are already used. So the only two numbers which can come here are 4 and 2, right? Now, can 4 come here in this block? Yes, 4 can come here in this block. But can 2 come in this block? No, 2 cannot come here in this block because 2 is already being used in this first column. So if 2 is already being used, then the number which can come here is going to be equal to 4. So if 4 is going to come here, then the number which is going to come just edges to it is going to be equal to 2. So let me write those numbers. 4, 2. Now, if 2 has already come in the second column, right? We can see if 2 has already come in the second column, then 2 cannot come here again. So, the number which is going to come here in this block is going to be equal to 1. And the number which is going to come adjacent to it is going to be equal to 2. Now, see, if you are going to check your first column, 4, 2, 3, 5 are already used. So, the number which is going to come just below it is going to be equal to 1. Now, 2, 5, 1 are already there in the second column. So, the only possible numbers which can fill here are 4 and 3, right? 4, if 4 is going to come here in this block, then 3 is going to come here in this block. If 3 is going to come here in this block, then 4 is going to come here in this block. So, let me write that. 4 slash 3 and 3 slash 4. Now see, this is one grid. See, this is one grid. So the four numbers which when multiplied here 
should give their result as 36. So, if 4 and 3 are multiplied together, then it is going to give us 12. And if 12 is multiplied by 1, then it is going to give its result as 12. So, what I have to multiply by 12 to get my result as 36, the number which I have to multiply by 12 to give my result as 36 is going to be equal to 3, right? So, 4 into 3 into 1 into 3 is going to give my result as 36. Now, see, 1 is already filled here. 4 slash 3 or 3 slash 4. That means if 4 is going to come here, then 3 is going to come here. Or if 3 is going to come here, then 4 is going to come here. Then the number which is going to come here in this block has to be 3, right? Because 1, 4, 3 or 1, 3, 4 have already come. So the only possible number which can come here is going to be equal to 3. Now see, if 3 has come here, then can I say the number adjacent to it is going to be equal to 4? Why? Because 3 has already come in 5th row, right? So 3 has already come in 5th row. So the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 4. And see, even this is going to be equal to 5 because 3 has already come in the 5th row. So if this is equal to 5, then this is going to be equal to 3. So if this is equal to 3, then this is going to be equal to 5, right? And this also. If 4 is there, then the number which is going to come here is going to be equal to 3. So, can you see the magic of Ken Ken puzzle? Just we are, uh, just we found this number 3 and with this number, we have been able to find out this number, this number, this number, this number and this number. So, with just one number, we find the solution to 5 other blocks too, right? Okay, so now 1, 4, 3 and 5 are already there in 5th row. So the only number which is remaining here is going to be equal to 2. So I have written 2 here. Now 2 has already come here. Now if you are going to look at the third column, 5, 4, 2 and 3 are already used. So the remaining number is 1. So let me write the number 1 here and if you are going to look at the fourth column 1, 3, 5 and 2 are already used. So the only number which is remaining here is 4. So I have written the number 4 here. Now even you can check this grid also. See if you are going to multiply 1 into 4 it is equal to 4. 4 into 2 is 8 and 8 fives is 40. So this is just another way of checking that whether you have written your numbers correctly or not. So now if you are going to look at your Ken Ken puzzle, you have find out the solution for the whole Ken Ken puzzle where no number is repeating itself in any row or in, or in any column. And apart from that, if you are going to check each and every grid, you are going to see that your pattern is satisfied. So I hope this Ken Ken puzzle is clear to you and you enjoy doing it. If you have any doubts, please mention it in comment section. Also, do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you. Have fun. Enjoy learning.